And there we go. Second cast, I got my catfish. <laughs> yeah! Hey there, people. Well, today I'm going to give you a little uh, guide on fishing in Terraria. Now, it is uh, the early wee hours, because you got to get up early if you want to uh, have all day to do your fishing quest. It's raining, and it's a full moon, which is perfect weather in Terraria for fishing. So it's about to be 4.30 a.m. as well, which is when the day starts. Um, but let me tell you a bit of, about uh, what you need to know uh, about fishing in Terraria. The first thing is, of course, you need to find your angler NPC if you want to do your angler quest, your fishing quest. I've hidden him down in this tree. This is a different world than I've usually been showing you because uh, this is the world that I've been doing my fishing stuff in just recently. I was doing it for fun, but I thought I'd show you what I've been up to. Um, so you'll find the angler here. Mine's named Grayson. You'll find him in the ocean biome and uh, he'll just be floating on the water so you want to wait until he's fairly close to shore and wake him up uh, just click on him and uh, have a little chat and then he'll be yours he'll move in if you have a spare house which is how he ended up here I could have built him a better one but I thought this was kinda cool <laughs> so he'll wake up and he'll be able to give you uh, fishing quests every day so just to demonstrate it is after 4.30 a new day has started he will only give you one quest per day, that's important to know, and he'll give you rewards for completing those quests. So if you say quest, he's going to, uh, you know, give you a little story about what he wants, um, and then it'll tell you here where you're going to find this particular um, fish. In this case, it's a cat fish. <laughs> Get it? It's a cat and a fish. So that's my quest for today. Now, um, the thing is, there are a lot of factors that go into making for successful fishing in Terraria. Uh, the first thing, of course, is going to be you're going to need a fishing pole. But uh, there's different fishing poles that you can get. There's a basic one you can make out of wood, eight wood, uh, at your workbench. You can make a crappy fishing pole. It's only uh, five fishing power, and I'll get to fishing power in a minute. But you're probably going to want to start with your reinforced fishing pole, which is eight iron or lead at your anvil. Now, something I got... Um, from Fishing Quest is this cool bunny mount. <laughs> so that's going to help me get over to the jungle a little quicker. I just accidentally uh, pushed the wrong key and used some of my potions. Let's not worry about that, though. So you can see my ore sitting underground. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got this cool bunny mount. It's the fuzzy carrot that the angler can give you. He gives you lots of things. Um, I've also got all kinds of information over at the side here. Um, Two of the things that it's showing me are from fishing quests as well. Actually, let me stop here. This is one of my fishing holes. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about how this works as well. So the weather and the moon phase, I got those from fishing quests. The sextant um, shows you the phase of the moon. And the weather radio displays the weather. Now, uh, what I did here, well, again, yeah, you're going to want to start with your reinforced fishing pole, you're probably going to also want to um, create yourself some, some little areas to fish in different biomes. So this is my surface biome fishing place. Um, you can also upgrade to the Fisher of Souls or the Flesh Catcher a little later before hard mode um, with eight demonite or crimtain bars at the anvil. And sorry, that was eight iron or lead bars at, bars at the anvil to do the reinforced fishing pole. There are also later um, stuff available, later uh, fishing poles you can get. But I want to tell you something um, about this. Actually, let me, let me tell you. You can get some of the fishing poles for doing some of those quests, like you will automatically get the golden fishing rod for the 30th quest on PC or mobile. Uh, if you're on console, it's going to be the 50th quest. When you complete that many fishing quests, you'll get the golden fishing rod, rod, which has the highest fishing power. Again, I'll tell you about fishing power in a second. You can also get the hotline fishing rod, which is the only one that can fish in lava, but it's a pretty low chance. You have to do a lot of quests um, or just get lucky. <laughs> and he, you might get that as a reward. Now, fishing power. That's why we stopped right here, because the size of the pond you're fishing in uh, matters, which is why, of course, it's easier to get stuff in the ocean. But what matters, actually, is the surface area and then the depth. Um, and that's why I've dug this the way I did, 
because this area I'm in here now was actually a separate uh, pool. I also happen to have water walking boots, so I can walk on the surface here. But um, this was a separate little pool in a little cave, and I dug through and uh, basically drained some of that water over here because this was separated, and um, how it works is that the surface area, whatever the open surface area of the, the pond uh, or ocean of course that you're fishing in and then the depth that it goes down so you can see this doesn't go down like too too far but uh, it's big enough what you want yeah and see like down there it goes pretty far <laughs> um, and that's why I dug through because this was one little area over here and then there was like kind of a wall and you can see actually the outline there like it, the part that's not open if some of it's covered anything that is below some other blocks will not count so it's the open area, and then however far down that open area only goes. So when this was all covered, none of this counted, even though there was like some water down here. So I just broke this through and combined these two things, and now it's one big pool, and obviously this area goes down quite a ways. And uh, so since this, there, these blocks don't quite touch the surface, the surface is open, so this counts as one big pool all the way down to there. Um, and there's some specifics on the wiki about like how many blocks you need, but basically the, the larger the size, uh, the better off you're going to be. Um, that matters quite a lot, actually. You get a big penalty if you don't uh, have a big enough area. So I've gotten uh, to the point already, I've only done like 10 quests, but even in just 10 quests, I'm able to, uh, a couple of times, I was able to just grab the fish that I was questing for on the first cast. And uh, your fishing patter or power um, decides both the quality of the catch you're going to get um, and the likelihood of getting the rarer things that you might be able to get. And there's a lot of things you can get. Um, you can get not only the quest fish, and on these quests you can you can fish anytime, and you can get crates. Um, and there's different rarities of crates. The crates will give you like cool loot and stuff. Oh good, my bunny can run on top of the water too. I wasn't sure about that. Okay, so uh we All right, so this is a good example of what I'm talking about. This jungle fishing area is actually not ideal. You can see this is, you know, it's it's big enough and it's deep enough, but uh it narrows here and anything that's underneath this ledge is not going to count. So what I'm going to do is uh cut this open a bit and then I'll get back to you when I'm done that just to show you uh, what a good fishing area is. Okay so what I've done here is just uh, cut out most of this middle section and now I'm gonna start carving out the parts in between and just inundate that uh, middle area so that this all becomes one big joined thing. I'll try not to drown doing it. <laughs> which is why I carved a few little air holes on the way here. But uh, yeah, this is going to become one giant pool uh, with one large surface area, and that's going to help me to uh, have, you know, a big surface area times a large depth, and that's how you get one large um, fishing area. And you can do this, like, all over different uh, biomes, different areas of your world. And uh, that's going to give you what you need in terms of uh, having somewhere good to fish. And I found, like, if you're going to do a lot of quests, it's worth it to do this. Obviously, if you're just fishing occasionally, um, maybe you don't want to. But if you if you want to get loot from different biomes, which means, like, different types of crates, different uh, types of quests, then it's worth it to, to do a little bit of this in, like, all different biomes. And, and that way you have... Um, you know, somewhere to go. So what I've also done is, uh, I mentioned in my, my other uh, episodes about uh, having like a safe and storing stuff in there. And so I've basically outfitted my safe as my little, uh, you know, fishing gear uh, thing. So this is another thing too. You want a, a safe place to do your fishing. So that's why I've carved this out. I'm going to stick my safe down. In it, I have all my fishing gear. 
So we'll swap some of this in. Now this is where, uh, again, fishing power, there's more to it than just the size of the pond, but you can see just by having this large surface area with a big depth, I could probably go over there and uh, cut a little bit of that out as well, but this will probably do. Um, so besides having a really good pole, you're also going to need good bait. Now I've got all kinds of like butterflies and stuff that you can catch. You can catch those with your bug net, which you can buy from, I believe it's the merchant. Um, and then once you catch a bunch of those, but you can see they have a bait power rating. Now that counts for both your fishing power and it also counts for how likely it is that that bait will be used up when you cast it. So higher bait power, um, those bait are going to last longer. You're going to be able to cast more times with that bait. And it's also going to um, give you a lot more uh, on your, your fishing power. Um, the time and the weather factor in, that's what I was mentioning at the beginning. Uh, it's not raining anymore, which is unfortunate because rain is uh, actually the best weather. Um, cloudy or overcast is also good though. So um, the other thing is the moon phase. The brighter the moon, the better. Now those are relatively minor. The, the weather and the, the moon and the time of day um, are relatively minor in terms of time just after dawn the beginning of the day and uh, just before it gets dark those are the times that are the best so there's minor ben or benefits and penalties uh, depending on the time of day and all that stuff but the biggest things are going to be uh, of course your fishing rod your bait power is a really big one um, and the biggest thing is again the size of the pool that you are fishing in so what time is it yeah i've still got time to do this <laughs> So let's uh, see if we can use some really good bait here. And we'll cast this line. And you basically just wait until it bobs a little. There we go. Oh, got a bass. And there we go. Second cast, I got my catfish. And it's as simple as that. Um, how it works is you need at least 50 fishing power to avoid junk catches. Junk catches are like tin cans and old shoes and seaweed. Those are useless. There is literally no use and they have no value. Um, so you want at least fishing power to, or at least 50 fishing power to avoid those. But the higher your fishing power, the better off you're going to be. So I've got a fisher of souls here. 20% fishing power. I've got my tree nymph butterfly, which is 50% bait power. That's the highest actually bait power you can get is 50%. There's some other ones that'll hit that as well. Now the easiest way to get um, some high uh, bait power, I should be uh, using my angler hat, which I won from one of my quests as well. There we go. See, increases fishing level. <laughs> um, the easiest way actually is you'll see worms around every once in a while. So you catch a regular worm in your bug net and then you combine it with a fallen star. You can craft it into one of these enchanted night crawlers. That gives you 35% bait power, which is pretty good. Uh, you won't find much else that's that, that high. You will occasionally find things like this tree nymph butterfly that are higher, but that's the easiest one you can get pretty regularly is to make some enchanted night crawlers. Um, and you'll also catch some of these other fish, um, armored cave fish, specular fish. Um, those are useful. See, they're classified as material, and you'll notice that um, when you put your mouse over or your uh, cursor over. Um, some of them are material. The bass and the Atlantic cod you can make food out of at your uh, pot, and those will give you the well-fed buff. But these ones will let you make potions. Um, and anyway, there's all kinds of stuff you can get. You can also get these crates. So let me, uh, let me just show you what crates are good for, because I got a bunch of them and I've been saving them up and that's another tip I'm going to give you. Um, you can save your crates. Your crates are going to give you things like, uh, ore and bars and stuff. So there we go. I actually got some bait out of that one. You'll get potions. Uh, I've got bars and tungsten isn't even in my world. So that's how you can get rare ores that aren't in your world. Um, so I got some bars and some ore. Anyway, you can also save up your crates until you get into hard mode. And then as soon as you get into hard mode, unpack a whole bunch of those. And that's a little trick actually to uh, get lots of hard mode ores as soon as you start hard mode. Anyway, let's go back and see our good friend, the angler because I got a little catfish for him. 
I'll carry a torch so you can see what the heck I'm doing. All right. <laughs> so here we go. All we got to do is come back to the angler, talk to him, and he'll see I've got the catfish for him. There we go. And again, you can only do one per day, so it's now 11.20 p.m. Um, i got to wait until 4.30 a.m. to start my next quest. Uh, so that's it. You just go day by day doing your quests. You don't have to do them as quests. You can fish any time, um, and you can get things like crate. You'll also get uh, the crate potions and things like that. And, of course, I was dumb, and I left my... Uh, but I got master bait. See, that's master bait. 50% bait power. Again, highest you can actually get. That's why it's the master bait. <laughs> anyway, um, you can get all kinds of items. But the crates, uh, you can you can fish in rare biomes to get you know rarer crates and uh, rarer fish and things like that. I'll give you the links on the, the wiki um, about all the details. Basically, I'm going to give you the fishing link and there's all kinds of things linked from that as far as like the angler and you know crates and bait and all that stuff that's going to factor in to how well you're going to do um so i think i covered everything i uh, hope you liked the video thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and bye for now i'll see you next time